So I've got this Behringer Euphoria UMC202 HD interface and on the back of it I have already taken off the panel and this USB port here it only works if you kind of push up on the connector so that you're kind of torquing it down into the board so this got injured somehow and there's internal damage so we're going to try to replace the port. I have found one on this is a board from a brother HL2040 printer not exactly the same construction, but the pins seem to be in the same place. So we're going to see if that does the job. So here I am trying to pry the faceplate off of this. Because see how there are three screws that hold on the back plate. Well, if you look at those rails, this is kind of an extruded shape here. There are three screws on the front face that hold the front face on the same way. So to be able to get at this board, I gotta slide this whole front face off, which means I gotta take out a screw here and here and here, which means I gotta take this front face off, which is kinda what I'm worried about the most. I don't know if I'll be able to do that cleanly, but I managed to get an X-Acto knife under the face plate without ripping it so far. And we're gonna see how well this goes. isopropyl alcohol that just kind of loosens up the glue the amount that I had to pull on this I don't know if that did good things to it whoa Danger. Oh, scratched it. Come on. Let me back in. But if I can lift that up enough to unscrew it, that's all I really need. Okay. There's one. Well, maybe this isn't all the way. It is. So, can I just push this out the front? No, because there's a big piece of tape on the top. That's not factory, I'll tell you that. There. Ha. Okay. So, that looks very similar. This might stick out a little further back, or further out of the board, I can't tell. It's close enough that I think it's worth just going for it. So that's what we'll do. Got the good desoldering wick here. We're in the ROHS years. Maybe let's practice desoldering on the donor board. This is from 2007. I think I got it out. Now for the harder one.
Well, battery died and charged her up again a little bit. Um, I got the old port out. Um, you can just imagine more of the same as what you were watching. Um, just to confirm here, this is the port that I stole from the printer. This is the port that came out of the interface. So the pinout does look to be the same. So there's no problems there of mixing up power and data lines. We're good to go. This just has to pop in here and it actually does all line up. So that's pretty sick. The one thing I'm gonna do is try to clean that up a little better, but I've been having a hard time with that. So I'll probably just put some solder on and just push as I'm soldering. And try not to burn my finger on the back. See how it turns out. There's still a pin in here. I thought I got them all out. Uh, The biggest problem is this hole. Big hole. Hey, just about there. That's it. Now we just stick it in place. Just make sure we get rid of the bridging. Let it flow a little better. Get the multimeter and check. So, good. Not bridged, not bridged, not bridged, not bridged. Reach in and do each pin from the inside. Three is not bridged to four. Three is not bridged to, oh. Oh, that's the ground, ha. <laughs> should be yeah one yeah good they're all good sick now we just put this baby back together slide it in Two side screws are still in here. Oh, don't tell me that's the wrong screw. Come on, where did I put the right one? Oh, right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I knew that went in way too easy. 
everywhere. Yeah. All right. Uh, USB cable. Uh, I have one right here. I have a USB device. So the big question is, will the light come on as soon as I push this in, or do I have to tug on? Boom! Power! I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Yeah, you can. And I can wiggle this. I don't want to wiggle too hard because that's what got us in this mess. Yeah, power, good to go. And if I look on the computer, you guys can't see, but yes, it does show up. So just put these knobs on here, put the faceplate back on, but you can figure out how to do that. Job done.